All right, we made it up to Scenic State Park. We had to pivot a little bit. We were gonna go to the Boundary Waters uh, this Labor Day weekend, but they ended up closing and canceling the permit. So we pivoted and got a spot at one of the state parks. So here with Jacob, just the two of us, we're gonna take the canoe out. We're living in luxury on this trip. We've got a full camp stove oven set up. It's just something we happen to have at the house. We use it a lot more for canning and things like that. But we figured we're, we're going to be glamping, so to speak. So this is probably more stuff than I would typically bring on a camping trip. But it is going to be nice to have, I think. Alright, here's our tent set up. On the inside, this is where we'll spend the next few days. But we gotta put our cots up. So Jacob hasn't done this before, so we're gonna teach him. Take the cot out of the bag. Use the one with the string, that's yours. And, and this lift her out. Unfold it. All right, so that side there. You're going to have to slide that tube so. down until it slides on top of the other tube. Nope, the other side. There you go. And you should see a hole open up on the other side. So keep sliding until it stops. There you go. Um, Do it on the other side. All right, so yeah. you got to slap the Velcro around onto each other, and that'll lock that leg on. And now that you know how to do it, you can do mine too. Grandpa George is giving you something. You know what that is? Jacket. Well, what kind of jacket? A camo jacket. It's a rain gear. Huh. Huh. Put it on. Yeah, that's Gore-Tex rain gear. How do I look? 
pretty darn good. Let's see if he can figure out where the super secret pocket is. No. Here, not there. Is this a That's the super secret pocket. Oh so stick a bunch of stuff and keep it dry. What about the other side? More super secret pocket? Uh, Whoa. Wow. What do you say to Grandpa George? Thank you. What else was in there? Yeah. There you go. You got a full official rain set. Matching. Gore Tex. Heavy duty. It's nice stuff. How about that, huh? Now it stopped raining, so you don't need it anymore. <laughs> Here we go, first fish of the trip. Going back in. Away he goes. Bye, buddy. There's a kingfisher over there, and I don't know how well you can see it with the GoPro footage, but he uh, he just got done diving into the water and grabbing something. So we're making what's called a Bombay sandwich, which is, was introduced to me by a gentleman that I work with. Uh, and it features tomatoes, uh, cucumbers, onions, um, cheese, and then a couple different types of sauce. Uh, a cilantro chutney and a pepper chutney. So I am going to also add some radish sprouts. Uh, hopefully he's not mad at me for changing up the original recipe, but we're going to try that out. Uh, have something a little different uh, here at camp today. Well, how do you like it? Traditional Indian food. Can't be all bad if a 12 year old will eat it, right? 12 year old whose favorite food is cheese pizza. We got apples and vegetarian Bombay sandwiches. 
Jacob's working on his rod. He's eager to get it set up for tomorrow. Well, it's morning number one. We ended up actually running into town a few times yesterday. We forgot, I forgot, uh, a couple of things. And the stove wasn't really working very well. And so I called Dad and I asked him how it was working the last time. And he said it was doing just fine. So I figured it was the tank. So we ran in and got a just one pound propane tank that could fit onto it. And that seems to have solved the issue. So we can actually cook now. Because <laughs> it was taking a while. Um, so I'm just going to get some coffee going. Cook up some oatmeal. Uh, wait for Jacob to wake up. And we'll figure out what we want to do today. Trying to catch something because uh, yesterday you caught something and I that kind of motivated me to catch something. So yeah. There's our little buddy, our camp buddy. Well, we're looking at some of the big old trees that are here. So, some of these trees I think are 400 plus years old. And as you can see by Jacob, it's probably about three Jacobs wide. What do you think about the state park so far? It's really fun. You can see a lot of uh, trees and stuff. Yeah? What kind of stuff? What have you seen so far? I've seen a lot of trees that are probably over 100 years old, 400 years old. I've seen a uh, closed ranger station that looks uh, pretty old. And uh, yeah. Forest fire? It's uh, 
yeah, we also saw the remains of a forest fire. And yeah, so how tall the flames got. Would you come back? Yeah. I would. Yep. Great camping area, great trails, a lot of scenery, beautiful lake, warm weather most of the time. Not many fish. <laughs> yeah, not many fish, but uh, yeah. So far, uncle's beating you on the fish count. Yeah, he got one yesterday. Yeah, yeah. He got one yesterday. It was a lucky catch. I'm an expert at snagging stuff and catching seaweed. I'm an expert to tell you. And this is He caught something. Lazy eye. Bring it in. Real, 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 You don't have to, you don't have to hammer it home and set the hook or anything, but... What do you think about that? Cool. You ever seen a snapping turtle that big? No. All right. One time when I was kayaking, when I was like six. Well, there you go. I guess it's not that amazing then. Well, uh, it's still amazing. It's a snapping turtle. The boy's in charge of the fire. This is attempt number three. Yeah, attempt. There you go. Now where's your uh, tinder? It's under there. Why'd you put the tinder under? I don't know. Hmm. Jacob's practicing his axe skills.
So we're heading out on the Chase Point Trail, which is within the state park here, and it kind of goes alongside the two lakes. Um, and there's a, a viewing point out there and kind of a nice little trail with some old growth uh, forest. So we're just checking that out, um, seeing what we can see. There was a bunch of trumpeter swans on Coon Lake uh, earlier, or maybe Sandwick. I don't really remember now, but uh, maybe we'll get a glimpse of them. We heard some loons. Um, yeah, we'll just see what we see. So we're cooking up dinner. We've got venison heart and some chickpea risotto. And I've got the boy in charge of the fire again today. So he's getting stuff ready for that. And this will be our last evening in camp. It's been a good couple of days here. Well, what do you think? Pretty good. Did you try the deer heart yet? Yep. Tried a little piece. Pretty good. There you go. A 12 year old eating deer heart, chickpeas, mushrooms, and onions. And a fire that's seen better days. It'll get there though. Everything's just a little damp. Well, we're getting camp packed away, but took a moment on this morning to come check out the lake. It's a pretty cool morning, and you can see the steam rising up off the lake. It's like glass out. Pretty remarkable. Well, we're all packed up, ready to head back. 
the last thing to do is strap on the canoe and then we're headed back home so uh, we want to say thank you all for joining us on this trip to scenic state park uh, this labor day weekend it was a lot of fun we saw a lot of cool stuff not a lot of fish but uh, i still think it was a good trip so um, thank you all uh, and as always there will be more to come soon